Ah, oh, what a day, what a day, what a day, what a day, what a day. Sorry, just had a pretty crazy day. But anyways. Hey everyone, it's Luca Dollar here again. Back with you now with another reaction video. And today we're going to be looking at the first episode of Thomas's PC Adventures by Paul Vids. Now, if you don't know who Paul Vids is, he's more well known to making Shed 17 and Project G1, the latter of which I did a reaction video on, which was fun to do. But anyways, despite that, he actually has some cool talents. Oh, and he also did Rolly the Coach. He has some cool talents in voice acting and, and animation. Or stuff like that. And I decided to do a reaction video on his first episode just to get a laugh and to see what it's like. And that might also explain those pictures he's been posting on Twitter lately with the renewed models, new characters, that diesel police engine, whatever it is. And those two carriage sheds or whatever. Let's check this out in three, two, one, go. Go. Thomas is a tank engine who lives at the big station oh, on the island the of Sodor. He's a cheeky little engine with six small wheels, a short stumpy funnel, a short stumpy boiler, and a short stumpy... D Oi! That's not very nice! What? Making fun of other people's floors! I wasn't making fun! I don't comment That's on your glasses, do I? Brandon no! Here. I don't call you faulty! Alright, alright! I don't call you specky slaphead, do I? Alright! Do I? Alright! I'm sorry, okay? Your Thomas voice sorry. is brilliant! No wonder you live on your own! Oi! It was a lovely day on the island of Sodor. Thomas was approaching the station when he noticed two of the strangest characters he had ever seen oh. in Farmer Oblivious's field. Wow. Hello, my name's Thomas. Who are you? He asked. Hello, Thomas. I'm Shinty, and this is my brother Windy. We were travelling around the northwest of England when we came across the island of Sodor. And your nice farmer said we could stay in the field for a few days. Thomas was pleased to meet new people. He couldn't wait to tell the other engines about his new friends. Ooh, I wonder what they're cool and voiced by. Pshaw, huffed Garden. Their kind is the last thing we need around here. What do you mean? asked Thomas. They're perfectly nice people. You just haven't met them yet. Oh, Thomas. You're so naive. That's how it starts. Then things start going missing in the area. Then they pave over the field, followed by a lengthy eviction process, and finally, bare knuckle fist fights amongst local rivals. Oh, Gordon, stop making assumptions about people. But the next morning, Thomas awoke to find his spare buffers missing. evening, Gordon returned to find his antique huh? dome collection had vanished. His what now? His what? And the next morning, oh. the fat controller found his suit had gone missing. What? For the next few days, suspicion and mistrust grew between the engines and the new arrivals. Ooh, that does not look good. One of them is pissed. I wonder why. Finally, the fat controller decided action had to be taken. Ooh. He called for Bobby, 
the police engine. Ooh, Bobby the police engine. The engines all explained what they had lost, and Bobby listened intently. Hmm. <laughs> he should arrest her top half for streaking. Bobby carefully examined each crime scene. In each one, he found specks of green paint and the unmistakable scent of Welsh coal. Finally, he arrived at Henry's shed. Inside were all the missing items. There's my antique dome collection, exclaimed oh, Gordon. Dome my spare buffers are there, announced Thomas. Why do you need and there's my buffers? pawn mags! Wait, what? I mean, uh, who, who's those pawn mags? Edward! The engines were very sorry for the way they treated the new arrivals. Percy. Henry agreed to seek help for his kleptomania while he paid his debt to society. All the engines agreed not to be so suspicious of people just because they're different, and Gordon agreed he would never again be such a racist bastard. Collection, Thomas's spare buffers, and Edward's stash. All brilliant, but like I said, maybe Sir Thomas should have been arrested for streaking here. Oh well, well that's all for now, and shout outs to Paul, Viz, and Brandon Polly. You guys did awesome with the voice work here, and everyone else did brilliantly, so. Sayonara!